Let me introduce you guys to the number one wide receiver in the class of 2024 is Jeremiah Smith. This dude is the number one receiver in the country and the third best recruit in all of 2024. So he's not, you know, he's not just a good receiver. He's one of the best players in the entire country. Let's see. Let's see if the hype is real or if, if this is a little bit too much hype. I don't think it's going to be too much hype. Let, let's, let's go. Got him. I press. <laughs> nope. Gone. Just, just burn him. Just get blurry real quick. Catching the ball through contact. Let's go. Showing that strength. Fake inside, go outside, and then break out to the corner. Oh, never mind. Just go straight to the corner. My boy, he can get up. He's got he's got effortless bunnies out here. Got him at the bottom of the got him at the bottom of the screen. Very quick safety. You were too late to roll over. That that throw up and just like just throw it up and just let him go up and high point the ball. Jeremiah Smith, this dude, he, he that's his bread and butter. Man, he's got some wheels. Like he could flat out fly. Yeah, I definitely got to pay attention to this kid during the seven on seven circuit this upcoming off season because I want to see what his route running is looking like. Give again, give me that, give me that. Yo, my man is out here mossing everybody. I will say this is one very, very nitpicky thing. At the next level, you're, you're exposing a little bit too much of your chest. Keep that chest down and low when you're driving out of your stance so that even if a guy does attempt to throw a hand out there, they're not gonna be able to uh, affect your, uh, knock you off of your route too much. But again, this guy is, he just, tracks the ball extremely well high points the ball well is very quick off the line and then he just has the great top end speed he could flat out just get gone yeah I, th I thought he was about to take that to the crib somehow i was like yo again just go moss him real quick <laughs> got him literally just throw it up to him he's coming down with it every time I can totally see why this kid is ranked so highly. He is one of those guys that you just want to have on your on your offense. This is a great route. This is a phenomenal route. Went to the inside. I would say maybe just throw a slight fake to the to the inside just to really get him going that way. But when you're able to break your route off that effectively, that's good. Cause you can you can see when you when you don't when you when you release inside and then don't fake inside again on, on your break, they stay to the outside. And then when you cut underneath, they're underneath your route. So a faster guy would be able to catch up. Like the fact that this throw is late, it's actually you know, kind of impressive that your quarterback didn't get this pick. But when it's when it's thrown like that, you're you're letting uh you're letting the corner be able to come back underneath the route and pick it or tip the ball. So that's why you wanna if you're gonna release inside, you gotta fake like you're gonna be running it in or something like that again to really get that corner to shift at least in parallel with you and then you break it out to the outside and that's how you just create like a bunch of separation. But I would definitely say that Jeremiah Smith is worth all the hype that he is getting. This kid is a flat out mismatch. Like he has very like he has no weaknesses in his game to have the size speed and physicality that he has at wide receiver he's one of those guys where just throw it up to him let him come down and make a play get just get the ball in his hand like you can you can throw him on a drag route he's going to be able to take it to the crib you can hit him on a deep post he's going to be able to outbody corners and safeties you can hit him on the more technical routes because he's very good at just kind of being a very sudden and breaking routes off this this is definitely one of the best wide receivers in the entire country and he looks to be a lock to go to ohio state and we as we should all know ohio state these past couple years has been wide receiver you so if he ends up going to ohio state watch out the ohio state's wide receiver room is gonna get even deeper than it already is Again, I know he just caught a body right there, but the cameraman just didn't want to show. It's probably for the better, you know, for the family's sake. So that is what the number one wide receiver in the class of 2024 and the third best recruit in Jeremiah Smith is looking like on the field. That dude is just absolutely mossing everybody. He has very few weaknesses in his game. The only thing I would love to see him do is just really just become a route running technician, which I know it's not always the easiest thing to do. That's why I said I want to really pay attention to him during the seven on seven circuit, because in seven on sevens, you really have to work on your release 
spaces your route running you have to create space not just because you're fast obviously some players can just do it because they're fast but you really have to know how to get open and how to be a effective route runner during the seven on seven season but i don't i don't think my guy jeremiah is going to have any issues with that this is one of the best wide receivers in the entire country coming up and i'm excited to see where he ends up going because this kid has a ton of potential but i want to hear from y'all so comment down below what do you guys think of jeremiah smith the number one wide receiver in the class of 2024 and the third best recruit in the class of 2024 be sure to comment that down below leave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more exciting players coming up in 2024 and 2025 and with all that being said i love and appreciate all y'all and i'll catch you guys in the next video ciao